Hi to all my lovely Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Nisha. Okay, we're going to be looking at what's coming in over the next couple of weeks for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you guys like to book a private reading with me, Gemini, please check the description below where you will find all the important details that you need for that. All right, so Gemini, let's see what's happening in your life. You manifesting, blocking somebody, moving ahead with a home situation, leaving regrets behind, but you feel overwhelmed. Well, it's a lot of responsibilities on you, Gemini, that you need to let go of. It could be a fire sign that you're trying to get rid of. It could be possibly a Sagittarius. It's a completion happening over the next couple of weeks. So you can move forward at home. You're going to be successful in it moving forward. It could be with a cancer, okay? Ultimately, you have the tools to create whatever you desire. With the seven of one, standing up for what you believe in, it's going to be very important leaving behind a Scorpio that feels sad and that still love you or a water sign, period, okay? Let go of the regrets because the future is brighter. But the ten, of, yeah, you have an offer coming in, possibly from a Virgo, making your steps. Okay, planning your steps meticulously. All right, where you can get this lucky break. Okay, and then let's see what else going on. Could be a fresh offer coming in to Gemini. Let's see who coming in, what they offering, what you should be aware of. All right, we have the intentions drama. So somebody coming in quick. All right, somebody that you already know, a Sagittarius, another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, or, or a fire sign, Aries, or a Sagittarius. What this person is doing is that they're not ready to give up, ready to create some drama. Beneficial to you, though, your home is going to be stable, secure. Someone may even want to move in with you very quickly, an ex, okay, that's not ready to give up. You've been known this person with the nine and him feeling irritated. Okay, we have unexpected ace of pentacles, a message coming in, and then we had a seven of pentacles. Do you decide to invest in this person or not is what you're going to be left with, all right, because because you have already been here, do this is something you already been used to. You already been investing in, and you want to try to go a different route. All right, nine of pentacles showing up again for you guys. So it's something you may have been planning on doing for a very long time. You deciding if you want to do it. So disrespect this person come in with drama and determination, and expect the universe to present you with something solid and new. All right, could be from an earth sign, could be messages from a fire sign. Whatever the message you get is going to be uh, beautiful and beneficial to you because you guys going to really enjoy this. All right. Um, Seven of Pentacles is about reaping, harvest, rewards, okay, magic and illusions. You're trying to figure out if this relationship is really worth it, okay, for you to continue on or not. We have here confusion, puzzle, unsettled, and unclear. So somebody could have confusion. It could be a lot of tension there. But this moon over the next couple of weeks is what you're trying to unravel. All right. So you probably trying to figure out why is this ex back um, in your face or trying to get back with you because they offered a lot of confusion, unclear thoughts. Okay. And we have here, I see a little part of you and every everyone I meet. So this person, the reason they confused because every time they out dealing with somebody new, they reminded of you, Gemini. And this is what confused them, okay? Or this is you. Alright, so this is what this like deep love, soul connection you guys have with your twin is feeling. Alright. They are confused because they are reminded by you all the time. For those who are in a twin flame relationship, this person cannot get you off their mind. And it's nowhere no matter where they turn or who they turn to they rem they are reminded of you all right third eye vision reclaim your mind gemini is what the spiritual message is for the couple next couple weeks so they asking you over the next couple weeks gemini to really meditate and clear up your third eye vision okay visualize and meditate what you want because you can't rush into your third eye being open this is a risk you have to seek out a spiritual teacher someone is suitable to help you open it up because the shadow aspects of this is like you being delusional fictitious studious and self-sacrificing and that's what you don't want to do so be wary of people that you are sacrificing yourself for also that third eye vision is prophecy so something you've seen you prophesize could become the truth and it's i'm a clear and accurate accurately through my th <laughs> yeah that is so janky so i see clear and actively accurately through my third eye is what you need to know literally your vulnerability okay liberate your vulnerability so something is going to make you feel vulnerable this week okay and this is what is you got to be remember of you could be 
in fear of self exposure or judgment of something and it's like really hunting you about a relationship so don't protect yourself from them type of harsh judgment and criticism because that's just not what you need right now intuitively you need to understand that something is coming so let's see if anything so i just feel like it's a time of vulnerability and you guys have to visualize what you want visualize the perfect outcome a happy setting Okay, we have Mercury, we have Virgo, we have Taurus. These could be the signs that could be helping you and be a mentor to you, opening that up, partnership, harmony, and communicating to yourself. Positive self-talk could be something very important. Partnership could be very important, but I feel like a lot of you guys are worried about something. All right, we claiming that mine is something that is going to be very important over the next couple of weeks and not letting nobody put any type of guilt trips on you. All right, we have communication. All right, how you communicate is going to be very important too, okay? So new communication is coming in, mastering communication, which you do, Gemini, very well, okay? Apollo, Mercury, the messenger. All right, 22 is a master number. Maybe it's been a long time and hard for you to master that communication, but you really are going to be doing it now, Gemini, where it's going to be beneficial to you, okay? And we have here illusions. Yeah, so somebody creating illusions around you. Pay attention to that, all right? So something is not is seen. It's all illusion. So that's why you have to trust your intuition and know that if it's something that's not clear to you, seek out professional advice, okay, from a trained spiritual person. Where they can see more clearly than what you can see on the surface. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's get you a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. We have here time for healing, believing the impossible, and a personal issue reaches a resolution. So you guys could be mean a red person in the next couple of weeks. You could be concerned about family matters with a cancer. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon cancer. You guys may need to spend more time with your family. All right, so they can help you guys out. Um, this is also going to be something that's going to be very important for you guys. Where you guys could, um, whatever is personal to you is going to be taken. Uh, this is really um, very um, spiritual to me. I feel like it's very emotional with the blues, okay? Purple is more spiritual, but blue, I feel like something very emotional is about to come to fulfillment for you guys. And you may not have expected this communication. So congratulations for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the good news. Please drop a like, share, and comment. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.